guys, this is Ashley. And this is Mo. We are here for the National Career Asian Pacific Islander Conference. And I'm 100% qualified to be here because I am Chinese. And I'm not. I'm just kidding. I actually am. Because I'm a first generation immigrant and when you're a newcomer to this country, you always feel very lonely and you don't know where is your community. So I want to be here to meet my people. Let's go! <laughs> Woo! Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> the National Queer Asian Pacific Islander Alliance, or ENCAPIA, is a federation of LGBTQ Asian and Pacific Islander organizations, and over 650 LGBTQ APIs from around the world participated in this year's national conference. Ashley and I attended a variety of panels and workshops and listened to fellow queer Asians address a variety of issues such as Orientalism in the media, sexual racism, and inequality. I'm a little fat, I'm a femme, and I'm Asian. And I think I am beautiful. I got to speak to Lance Chen Hayes. He told me about how Taiwan's constitutional court ruled that same-sex couples have the right to marry under the constitution and the challenges in the local community. A lot of people in Taiwan, they're out in the LGBT community, but they're not out to their families, they're out at work. They're, they have a lot of fear. So for me, having the privilege to be able to be out uh, in the whole community, and that's why I've been so outspoken and be invisible. APIs are the nation's fastest growing racial group and the largest segment of immigrants coming to the United States. And the LGBTQ immigrant population is disproportionately APIs. So if we make up so much of the majority, where is my story? Where is my voice? Where is my face in the pop culture? Well, that's why it's important to have conferences like this because I could literally count the number of white people on one finger. This was a space where we got to be who we are and were able to express and identify our intersectional identities without judgment and fear. It was a very healing experience. I lost count of how many times I cried in public. In the intersectionality panel, I was so inspired by Danny Cortez, an affirming pastor who was dismissed from the Southern Baptist Convention after he had officiated a gay marriage and transformed his church to become an inclusive space for LGBTQ people. And so to those of you here that have, been, have suffered under the teachings of my community, I want to say to you that I am so sorry. And some Asian parents also came to the conference to learn how to better support their LGBTQ kids. We know that many of you have been harmed by your families. Many of you have never told, heard your parents tell you that they love and we're proud of you. And we want you to know that we think that you are beautiful. We know you are beautiful and lovable and deserving of love just the way you are. Come on, we're <laughs> almost done. It's not my fault. Mercury's in retrograde. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Monica and I are starting this channel called Crazy Queer Asian. Because we're queer and we're Asian and we're crazy. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe to our channel and see you next time. Bye, Jen.